point out there, we uh, work with a major investment bank on uh, IT incident management. And you know, look, it's tough being in financial services, especially in IT. The trend towards budget is down, not up. And so this group needs to do more with less. And recently they got beat up by their business unit. Business unit said, you guys are escalating more than half of the issues that come through here. And that's, that means there's a real problem. Uh, so they asked the, the IT unit to go back and study the problem, and they said, well, we studied on average for severity one issue, it takes around 27 minutes to resolve, and the problem is silos. And just imagine yourself as a poor sysadmin, your, your pager goes off, and you gotta go fix whatever the system is, you know, the, the illustration system. So first, you need to go look at this virtualized landscape. The servers, you know, the system you're looking for might be on different servers than it was on the last time, right? It may have moved. So finally, you hunt down these log files. Now you're looking through the log files, not the easiest thing to navigate, right? Often a lot of different people's, different developers' work is coming out free form into a log file. So you got to kind of worm your way through that stuff. And finally you say, hey, that's the thing, that's the problem. Now you got to go to the design documents, the change histories, the knowledge yeah. base provided by the, the vendor, and maybe the SharePoint site that's packed with information by previous sysadmins, right? They've all put their notes down there over years. No wonder it takes 27 minutes. And if your 15 minute escalation time is there, of course you're escalating more than half. So we integrated all those sources of data, including all the log files from hundreds of physical servers, in indexed, they're brought together, marshaled, brought in and indexed every 10 seconds. And this system for the sysadmin cut the time from 27 minutes to three minutes. And that was the bank's own study. Because all of a sudden, instead of wondering where am I going, you go to one place, a search application, right? You start by saying, what's the system name? That gives you the server map. Now you get the log files. Now you find the smoking gun. Copy that in the search box. Hit the search button. The answer comes up because it's in one of those sources, right? Design documents, change histories, trouble tickets, the wiki the, with all the sysadmin uh, comments, and the knowledge base provided by the vendors. So three minutes, you know, it's a real game changer. And by the way, the ROI, and that's hundreds of thousands of dollars every month. But the story doesn't end there. What's even more interesting is that one pile of data or content or whatever you want to call it, that index of information that the sysadmins use through search, there's another group that's interested. The other group is the managers of the sysadmins. They want a dashboard though. They want aggregate trend-oriented data, not the individual items. They want to say, hey, which systems break the most? Which ones take the longest to fix? Which admin fixes the most rapidly? They even have us figuring out when there's a change management collision. Two systems getting the same change during a window of time. So that's the real power of UIA, right? It's not just that it's many different types of data at a large volume with pretty aggressive velocity. It's also that there's a complex mission and two different user communities don't want to have two different systems.